Y'all right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Arcjet Planet Excursion Suit, which is being released by user MyCart. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an absolutely amazing spacesuit for you to roll around with in the world that gives you quite a bit of radiation protection, as one would probably assume from a spacesuit. And these things are magnificent, as you can see see here. Now, it's actually being made by the same team of modders that made the uh, Repcon hazmat suit we looked at last week, and these things are just as good looking with loads of detailing all over the place that you really do gotta appreciate. And like with the Repcon hazmat suit, these have a similar lore reason as to why we have them here now in the Commonwealth, in that the Brotherhood of Steel actually found the patents and blueprints for these things back Back in the capital wasteland and were able to create uh, them through those blueprints which is pretty cool and uh, thus why we have them here and they are just really good looking and again like with the repcon suit uh, they do have that cool see-through visor but this time with a handy little hood on in there so, you know, it doesn't look weird without your hair. Now, let's take a look at the stats on these things, and they are pretty wonderful. So, if we first take a look at the Planet Explorer Backpack. Now, this one's a pretty simple item, only providing you damage resistances of 5 physical, 5 energy, and 5 radiation for 2 weight. We then have the Planet Explorer Gloves, which will give you a physical resist of 10, energy of 5, radiation of 5, and give you a plus 1 to charisma and luck for a weight of 2. Next we have the Helmet, which once more gives you a physical resist of 10, energy of 5, radiation of 5, charisma and luck plus 1, and the weight of 2, and so far pretty similar to the Repcon hazmat suit we looked at previously, but here's where it all changes with the Explorer suit, which will offer you 75 physical, 15 energy, and a thousand radiation resistance for a weight of 2. So this thing, oh boy. Like giving you a heck of a lot more protection here in the suit, which is pretty nice. And the final part we have is the Planet Explorer Vest with a physical resist of 5, energy of 5, radiation of 5, and once more with a weight of 2. So all in all, a pretty good lightweight suit that may not provide you with the most extensive armor resistances in the physical and energy, but that radiation is a great and it looks a lot better than the typical radiation suit in the game. Now, it gets better because we aren't just uh, stuck with this one color of suit. In fact, we have three different colors of suit that you can enjoy. Of course, with the standard sort of white and black, then the just pretty much all black, and then finally a cool red and black suit. And of course, as with my character here, you can kind of mishmash the colors together, where I've got a red vest, helmet, and backpack, but the black gloves and the white suit. And you can really make it however you like that way, and that is pretty pretty fun. Now, as for how you do get your hands on these things, as I did mention, these were reverse engineered, or well, really created from blueprints by the Brotherhood, and now you somehow have that knowledge and can create these in the chemistry station. As you can see here, we have the BZW Planet Explorer category, where we can then build the backpack, gloves, helmet, suit, and vest, each one requiring just two mere cloth to produce. So you can get your hands on this thing pretty early on to get some pretty good radiation protection. And as for modifications, like with the Repcon hazmat suit, we have a pretty similar things here where each of the pieces of armor will have first that miscellaneous modification category where you can add things like light build, padded, pocketed, etc. The pretty typical modifications as well as a ballistic weave all the way up to Mark V, really giving this thing a lot more damage protection, which is pretty good. And when you mix that with the great radiation protection, especially on the main suit, well, uh, it's it actually makes for some pretty decent mid-to-end game armor, and that is a wonderful thing. Now, finally, 
For each of the pieces of armor, we also have the set, and this determines the color. Now, set one is the default of that white and black, the set two is the black on black, and the set three is the black on red color, or, well, really, more red on black, maybe? I don't know which way that should go, but either way, white, black, red and is pretty nice. So we do have uh, some uh, fairly good modifications here, and all in all, it's just a good-looking set of armor, providing you with a fair amount of protection, and I do love that, unlike with the Repcon hazmat suit, we do have under the helmet that nice uh, hood on, basically covering up our hair so it doesn't look so awkward without any hair with the helmet on. And all in all is just a fun little set of armor with a fun lore reason for why it exists here and uh, well worth a look. So if you'd like to take a look at it for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always... Have a good one.